you know, I kind of wish I'd come up with the idea. <laughs> let's, let's just keep it real. So my name's Jason Barrett. I'm a filmmaker primarily, uh, but I also make um, online content. I'm a comic book creator, um, script writer, and a black studies teacher. The Black History Activity books, absolutely fantastic. I have two very young children. I've got a seven-year-old and I've got a 10-year-old. And I've got the whole set. They absolutely love, they're interactive. What I like about the Black History Activity books is it gets them off of the Xbox and it gets them off of the YouTube and it gets them engaged in reading, but not just in reading, the activities. For me, you know, I kind of wish I'd come up with the idea. <laughs> let's, let's just keep it real. Excellent because it's entertaining and educational all at the same time. Black History Activity Books, number one. Called Heru, the uh, first hero. First of all, where we get our English word hero from comes from that Kemetic word Heru. And so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to use that and why I called it the first hero. Uh, so basically, Heru is a, a, a black superhero and Heru asks and answers the question, what would the world be like today if during slavery we had a Superman? The kind of concept was birthed out of Superman and Captain America both fighting in World War II and both defeating Hitler. You know, it's another narrative kind of finding out what would the world look like if during slavery we had a Superman? Book one of five, there's five parts to it. This is the origin story. So this is showing how Heru developed his powers, where his powers come from. I don't want to give too much away, but it leads down the road of him having to face off not just slave owners and slave captures, but also there's a almost a super villain that he has to defeat as well. And it sort of challenges ideas about equality because we get put in a position of power and then what do we do in that position? So I'm also kind of challenging those things. The reason I actually wanted to do it was I've always loved comic books from when I was a picnic. I mean, I like a I've been on comic books. One of the things for me was none of the heroes actually look like me. Um, and that was a big deal, you know, that was a big deal for me. And so I thought if I ever get in the position to create a comic book, I'm gonna want him to look like me just because I understand that the mentality behind being the hero. Um, so when I got into studying, I'm a black studies teacher, and when I got into studying, I studied a scholar called Frank um, Fanon. And basically, Fanon's got this concept that he calls schizoid play, when he's saying that when our children are reading comic books or watching these superheroes on television and they're emulating them, in that moment, they're seeing themselves as Europeans. So when your son's running around with his towel stuck down the back of his top, pretending to be Superman, in that moment, they are actually seeing themselves as Europeans. And one of the examples that he uses is um, Asterix and Obelix and, um, and Tintin. And uh, a lot of us remember all the black people in Asterix had big lips, a bone through their nose, leopard skin boxer shorts, and they'd be carrying around white people on a shield. I remember reading them comic books when I was younger and I remember actually looking at those images of the Africans and laughing at them, as in, look at them, because I was identifying as Asterix not realizing I was actually laughing at myself. And it's trying to change that narrative and let us also, and let our young people, let our children see themselves as the heroes. So um, Amazon, Heru, and if you do Heru and search Heru, my name, Jason Barrett, um, and also our website, which is jbncomics.com, J-B-E-O-N comics.com. This October, Black History Month, we are going to be in Birmingham again at the Black History Activity Books launch part two. Last year was LR. It's going to be an amazing event. I do a lot of vending, I travel around the country, a lot of different events. And I've got to say that that event was probably the 
best event um, last year. So we're expecting bigger and better this year. Cannot wait. So looking forward to it. Amazing speakers, amazing venue, just the atmosphere, man. I, we were in Wakanda. Man turned Birmingham into Wakanda. <laughs> So down there, man. If you ain't there, you're nowhere. Trust me. Get down there. Get some Black History activity books. Get yourself a copy of Heru. Um, sample some of the lovely food that's going to be there. It's going to be amazing. Listen to some of the great speakers. We've got. There's going to be speakers from all over the globe, from America, from Africa. See, man, you've got to be there. You've got to be there. If you're black, you need to be there. And you need to support black business because there's going to be a lot of black vendors, black storeholders all selling stuff for you. So on the 4th we're going to be in Leeds, we've got Red Pill and Blue Pill all the way from New York City. They're going to be blessing the audience, dropping some serious knowledge. You need to be there, there's going to be some great vendors there. Also some great performances, some local acts as well. But the main event is definitely Red Pill and Blue Pill. So that's on the 4th of October. On the 6th of October, um, again an audience with Red Pill, Blue Pill. Um, Master Teacher Infodish is going to be there. We're going to be doing a financial literacy um, lecture, you cannot miss it. And by and a really talented author she's gonna come and drop some real real knowledge so yeah don't miss it man you need to understand financial literacy you need to find out about your history so make sure that you're there if you're not there then you're nowhere